Look, I think it's about time we have a small discussion about YouTube and their shitty business practices. And I'm not here to talk about the sub box being messed up or the fact that you might get demonetized the moment a video goes live because of the content of it or whatever, you know, maybe. I'm here to talk about YouTube and, again, their unfair business practices and basically them picking favorites. Now, unless you lived under a rock, then you for sure know who PewDiePie and Logan Paul are. Probably two of some of the biggest content creators that are on this platform. But they're completely being unfair to them. If you didn't know, PewDiePie a year or two ago got his YouTube Red series, Scare PewDiePie Season 2, completely taken away from him. It's never going to come out. It's dead in the water. We are never going to see that final product. All because of a couple questionable things that got put into the news and people were, you know, blowing way out of proportion. If you didn't know, there was a couple videos that got taken completely out of context of YouTube making some jokes or doing some things and people were like, oh, he's racist, he's a Nazi sympathizer, this and that. Some different news sources were picking it up and he was getting a lot of flack for that. And if I'm not mistaken, the YouTube Red series was canceled before the whole PUBG bridge incident. Uh, but even then, PewDiePie just said a bad word. Oh no, crucify him. He said a bad word. Maybe it's not a good word. It definitely has a lot of negative connotations to it. But all in all, if you're playing a video game, I would call your bluff if you said you never said anything slightly offensive in playing a game. You get angry. You get in the moment. You say some shit. It happens. I think everything that happened with PewDiePie from, you know, his studio, Maker Studios, parting ways with him, uh, him getting basically demonetized pretty much almost all the time as of recent as far as I'm aware. All of the stuff that's happened to him, all the negative flack and, and all the shit that's been given to him because of a few of these situations, I think is a bit ridiculous. Because if you were to look at the other side of things, where Logan Paul comes into play, you'd see that YouTube is for sure picking favorites. They're not treating them fairly. I'm just going to go through a quick rundown of some of the questionable things Logan Paul has done. It seeming, seems that he has faked his colorblindness and, you know, faked seeing colors for the first time. That could be true, that could be false regardless. He's tased dead rats, but most importantly of all, he filmed a dead body in the Japanese suicide forest, edited a video, and put it onto YouTube. A YouTube video with a fully dead person, someone who committed suicide in the forest. Logan thought that was a good idea to put into a video. He's like, yeah, this will get me a ton of views. And props to you, Logan. It did. You got a lot of views. YouTube decided to put you on trending. And they didn't even take your video down when you got a fuck ton of flack for putting a dead body, someone who killed themselves, in a video. No, you're the one that took it down. I give you props for that. But then you made an apology video. YouTube put that on trending. You went on this whole spiritual journey of, you know analyzing mental illness and depression and all that to try to like make your image a little bit better and YouTube was not having it at first they were like okay we're going to remove him from Google preferred he's not going to get those high tier ads that give you more money or whatever they are I honestly don't know I don't get those ads because I'm not important enough um, they canceled his YouTube Red movie, the second part of The Thinning. I think it's called, like, New World Order or something. They canceled that. They were taking steps in the right direction because at that point, that's at least fair in some aspect. PewDiePie did some, I guess, questionable things. In my eyes, it's it's all in good fun. He was, you know, trying to make content, trying to make points, make some jokes. Things got blown out of proportion. That's a topic for another day, though. Logan did some objectively bad shit. We can negate everything else. Let's, we can just focus on the Suicide Force video. That's not even, like, subjectively bad. No, that's objectively bad. You went through your mind and were like, I'm going to make this video. Well, I saw a dead body. We recorded it. I'm going to do this. I'm gonna, I laughed at it. We're going to put that in the video. Regardless of if it's a coping mechanism or not for seeing a dead body, people are not going to see it that way. You left at a dead body in a suicide forest, and especially now in 2018 where mental health is such a big uh, proponent in today's society, a lot of people have mental illnesses. A lot of people are dealing with depression and anxiety, and a lot of people are dealing with suicidal thoughts, and some people follow through on that. So the fact that you thought it was a good idea to decide to make and edit this video where you did see a dead guy is a little bit ridiculous. But at least YouTube was being fair in canceling your YouTube Red series. But they're not so fair anymore. 
after you went on your crusade and all the flack died down, YouTube decided that, hey, you know, we're going to release Logan Paul's second movie, you know, uh, The Thinning, New World Order. We're going to release that on YouTube Red now. Everything seems to be a little bit better. He's the golden boy. He's the poster child of YouTube. So, you know, we're going to give him preferred treatment, but we're just kind of going to throw shit in PewDiePie's corner. I'm sure PewDiePie is doing well without all that extra help. He has 67 million subscribers. I am sure he's doing more than okay for himself. But it is a little bit ridiculous because I myself would really want to see Scare PewDiePie Season 2. It is something I would probably even subscribe to YouTube Red for like a month or so just so I could watch it. But I'm never going to get to see that project. But if I want to watch a shitty Logan Paul movie, I can watch that even though he did some stuff that is objectively worse than anything PewDiePie has ever done in his whole career. It's a little bit ridiculous. YouTube is obviously picking favorites. They're picking who they want to promote, who they want to do stuff with. And I understand, in the business world, you have to make those choices. But I think you're being completely unfair to someone like PewDiePie, who has been on the platform for many years, built a following, is one of the biggest channels on the platform, and you're still going to fuck them over. Scare PewDiePie Season 2 is something a lot of people wanted to see, myself included. I'm basically just rambling at this point. I think YouTube needs to get their shit together. Besides all the subbox shit, all the demonetization shit, I think they really need to start treating people fairly. Because the way this scenario is going is Logan Paul is on a higher pedestal than basically anyone else. He has done something completely terrible, objectively bad. YouTube is still going to say, you know what, it's okay, we're going to cut you some slack for that. We're just going to let some of the heat die down. Don't worry, your movie's going to be released. It's a bit ridiculous and... Kind of makes me sick to even say I upload videos to this platform while I don't have a big following. It's still a bit depressing to see that this is the way the company is going. I don't know. That's going to basically do it for this rant for today. I, I just felt like I wanted to get my opinion out there. It's a topic that I'm sure has been beaten to death by a ton of people, but again, wanted to get my opinion out there. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree with anything I said? Do you like PewDiePie? Do you like Logan Paul? Like them both? Hate them both? Whatever it is. Let me know in the comments down below what your opinions are, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.